Yes, YouTube finally got my band box and some content to shoot. Um, I haven't been posting up any videos at all since I have absolutely nothing to record or show. I don't vlog. Um, yeah, my daily routine is fairly boring, so definitely not going to record that. Um, so, yeah, finally got my band box for the month of February. And the theme is the 90s. Uh, they did an 80s box uh, sometime last year. That was actually my first band box I ever got. Uh, and the reason was uh, the reason why is because they say it's because actually they had a Back to the Future item in there. Um, and I'm a big Back to the Future fan. One of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, one and two are pretty good. Um, but I'll probably like two more because of the hoverboard. And. Um, yeah, so that was the 80s. They had, what else they had? That the Karate Kid <clears throat> autograph picture in that one. Uh, Ralph Macchio. Macchio. Um, what else did they have in there? Oh, they had the Back to the Future's license plate. I think it was, was it that? I forgot what it was. But anyways, this is the 90s. Um, yeah, I got my trusty Zacto knife. Oh yeah, I'm doing a different camera, different camera angle uh, this time to see how it looks. Uh, so hopefully it looks... Not too bad. But yeah, let's get this open. Uh, the team is 90s. Oh. Oh. Put that to the side. Let's open this box. Yes, wrapping paper. I'm not too sure what it's going to be, but something's interesting is in there. But let's look at the pin first. <laughs> interesting. Uh, so we got... <clears throat> the Super Soaker pen. Uh, kind of funny, kind of small at the same time. But yeah, this is, uh, I don't know if kids or uh, if they still make these kind of toys anymore, but this was a Super Soaker when it first came out. It was one of the biggest toys out there. Um, it, it was a water gun. It is a water gun and it holds water. And when you shoot it, it was like, Pretty strong. So when it first came out, it was one of the biggest toys that came out during uh, when I was a child uh, in the 80s and 90s. Uh, well, this is 90s box, so yeah, this came out in the 90s. So yeah, that's awesome. <clears throat> yeah, they probably have like better versions of it today if they do still make Super Soakers. But this was the original like, style, uh, the first one that ever came out. So yeah, cool. Put this over there. Got wrapping paper. I like these black wrapping paper. I feel like you. I, I had to use them actually. Uh, it's definitely a good gift, like uh, gift wrapping. I won't say gift wrapping, but stuffing paper. I mean for gifts. So yeah, look at this. I don't even know what to start with. I'll start with this. With this guy. Oh, <laughs> it's funny that it's wrapped in this plastic. But you see, it's a beanie baby. Um. Yeah. Oh yeah, Beanie Babies. I keep forgetting the theme is '90s. The Beanie Baby was a pretty big deal in the '90s, for whatever whatever odd reasons. Um, yeah, it started to worth money. People were like killing each other over it. It's like a Black Friday sale. Ridiculous, but anyways. Yeah, so we got this Thai Beanie Baby of a chameleon. I like to say. Um, let's see what this says. This little tag over here. Please remove all swing tag before giving this item to the child. Routine tag for references for reference. For ages dream enough, dream up. All right, the Beanie Babies collection and this chameleon is called Rainbow. It also has a name. Uh, date of birth October fourteenth, nineteen ninety seven. Red. Green, blue, and yellow. This chameleon is a colorful fellow. A blend of colors. His own unique hue. Rainbow has made especially for you. You go to uh, www.ty.com. Ty.com. Uh, the rainbow. His name is on. Or its name is on the tag already. Uh, the Beanie Babies collection. Ty. This is rainbow. Maybe this is a... Uh, Item that they were teasing about that is gonna that they said is gonna be from straight up from the 90s. 
Well, he came in this nice plastic bag. Probably gonna put the beanie maybe back in there actually. Um, so there's supposed to be a sign. Oh wait, no man. So there's supposed to be a sign item uh, from an actor from the '90s. Uh, that could be pretty much anybody, right? But you can't think too big, right? Uh, they had teasers of like Will Smith or something, but we can't spell Will Smith to do this, right? But anyway, um, some kind of poster. I'm not sure the signs. <laughs> oh, this is sign. Maybe by the person who made it, but this is pretty funny. So this is a celebrity fight night with this Zach Morris and A. A.C. Slater. If a hater's gonna hate, Slater's gonna slay. I don't know if anybody's seen that meme, but I love that. Um, I love that phrase. But it looks like it says Principal Principal Balding in association with the Los Angeles County School Board presents the Bayside Brawl. Rivalries will be settled. So A.C. Slater, Zach Morris, signed by. What's his real name? I don't even know right now. But no home TV, dirt from ringside, 15 rounds of non-stop boxing action. Admission is $240, are you crazy? Reserved for 300 plus additional three round fights featuring Kelly Kapowski versus Jesse Spano and Lisa Turtle versus Screech Powers. Screech Powers. So those, yeah, that was the main cast. Live from the gymnasium, Marina at Bayside High School. Doors open at 8 o'clock. And this is numbered out of um, 2,000, 733 out of 2,000. I don't see a certificate of authenticity. But what is Zach Morris's real name? Oh, I forget his real name. But yeah, if that's signed by Zach Morris, that's pretty awesome. But I don't see, oh, I see it now. But um, yeah, pretty awesome, I like this. Let's put this over here. Next, we got this hockey puck. Oh my goodness. And there's a, the band box certificate of authenticity and they show the picture of the person who signed it. Mighty Ducks. I forget his name right now, but um, this official size hockey puck has been hand signed by Matt Doherty who played Les Averman. Yeah, Averman in the Mighty Ducks movie franchise during private time with a band box. That is pretty awesome and it is signed. MD looks like so Matt Doherty who played uh, Averman. I'm gonna take the what's, let's see what's uh, let's have the other puck. Ah, so just a straight up blank puck, real hockey puck official, Canada Lindsay official. Interesting. So there we go. As a band box uh, exclusive, authentic. I like this. This is pretty cool. Averman. Uh, Mighty Ducks, besides Back to the Future, um, Mighty Ducks is definitely one of my childhood uh, favorite uh, movies out there. D2, The Flying V, are you, are you kidding me? Right? But Conway, what a bitch. <laughs> Not even joking. Oh, yeah, that is awesome. That is really awesome. I like that a lot. So, here is a certificate of authenticity for the poster. Um, doesn't say a name. So that's a uh, certificate of authenticity for for this uh, Bayside Brawl. Awesome. Lastly, and the theme, I mean, and the spoiler booklet. That's it with the box. Um, the new design with the drawings. Let's get to this in a bit. So we have one last thing. Ooh, the Boston Creative Company. Yeah, I'm from Boston. I think I heard about this place. <laughs> I'm not too sure, but when I faced about that was kind of already pop popped open. Hope it's, uh, hope I'm getting close enough to the camera or my iPhone. I think, you know, you guys can see it. <laughs> it's a freaking spoon. <laughs> no soup for you. Uh, I'm not sure what, 
What's this reference to? Pearl. And yeah, it's a spoon that says, no soup for you. No soup for you. What is that from? Just a spoon, yeah. I, I'm not too sure what this is uh, in reference to. But we'll find out, right? What are we going to find out? <laughs> All right, so the theme for February is the 90s, the band box. And uh, next month's theme is indestructible. Interesting, uh, interesting to see what that's going to be all about. Oh, but yeah, let's check this out. Try out a band box, want to trade an item, you can go to uh, the bandbox.com slash community if you want to trade an item away from uh, your band boxes for something else. But the uh, Bandbox exclusive band parody pins, 90s edition. So we got the Super Soaker. Oh man, the limited edition is pretty awesome. And they have a Furby. So if you got the limited edition one, which is, looks like, I don't know, maybe Jordans. Um, I was supposed to limit out of 215. If you got one, you got the other. So you would have got these two. But I got the Super Soaker, Super Soaker, and there's a Furby one. So the 90s, like any bank, you have certain items that stand out as moments you can't forget. And with these pins, you capture three of them. Who can forget the first time you had a squirt gun in your hand that required pump action could shoot an eye out? Can it shoot an eye out? Did that really happen? Or that creepy little electronic animal that had an off switch but it never really mattered. And for the limited pin set this month, we have the shoes everyone loved but nobody wants to admit they did. These are special limited out of 250. LA gear? <laughs> what? So it's not Jordans. Yeah, it doesn't really look like Jordans. Everyone, everyone loves and nobody wants to admit it. Yeah, I like to say maybe the. Is it L LA Gear? The one that lights up? When you step down, it's the first time that ever has been done where when you took a step, lights will come on on the bottom of um, the sole of your sneaker. So yeah, maybe that's LA Gear. I believe that was the name. <laughs> that's funny. I uh, wish I kind of got those LA Gears or those sneaker pants. Uh, let's move on. Beanie Babies on the 90s, common and rares. Interesting, so. Hopefully, I got a rare one. But, um. So, yeah, it could have been any random one, I guess. It's because it doesn't show uh, My Chameleon or Rainbow um, in the picture, so. One of the biggest, if not the biggest, collection booms from the 90s was Beanie Babies. These other animals were everywhere, and they became a craze. If you want to be a collector's. Box that we didn't pay homage to these, and you wouldn't be right to use anything current. So we tracked on collectors all over the country to find actual Beanie Bees with 90s tags on them. Ooh. Looks like rare to show this box is valued at $50 or more. Maybe your 50 bucks. Had to pause for a second, but again, back to the spoiler book that uh, the theme is 90s. Um, yeah, we got the official size hockey puck signed by Matt Doherty, who played Les Aver Averman on the Mighty Ducks. The Flying V, it had made kids all across America in warmer climates want to be hockey players. It did. And Les, Aver and Les Averman was one of these reasons. Really? The Mighty Ducks was one of the most iconic movie franchises, franchises of the 90s. These are official hockey pucks son of Matt Doherty who played Lester Eberman in the Mighty Ducks movies. You either get a signed in silver or gold metallic paint pen. Ah, so I got the silver one, so you got either silver or gold. Uh, I got the silver version. Um, there's no limited series or numbered uh, gold or silver, so um, it's just... Yeah, they were uh, dependent on whatever you felt like, I guess, or whatever you got out of the draw. Um, you might also remember him as Heat in So I Married an Ex Murderer. That was with um, that guy, Austin Powers, um, Wayne's World guy. Um, unbelievable. Mike Myers? Yeah, Mike Myers. Ooh. So the Band Box exclusive 11 by 17 posters. Uh, we got the, or I got the, the Bayside Bra, but it looks like you kind of got, um, there's three different versions. There was, uh, the Bayside Bra, which I got. 
Then there's the sh showdown, showdown in cyberspace, and the moon-based melee. Um, so the moon moon-based me melee looks like it's Doctor Evil versus Austin Powers, and the showdown in cyberspace is uh, Aja Smith versus Neo. <laughs> Mr. Anderson, a.k.a. Neo. Keanu. Keanu! Interesting. That's pretty cool. But I like the one I got. Yeah, actually, yeah, I do like the one I got uh, more than the other two. But I, I, I would have been happy with it either. Yeah, yeah I would have been happy with one of the three, no matter what, I guess. It's just kind of cool. The design and everything. I mean, I've seen these posters, uh, tutorials for um, tutorials to do these kind of uh, this style of like matches uh, for like Photoshop tutorials online or something like that. I think I did one before for uh, a school project. Yes, I did. But yeah, anyway, these are the battles we either wanted to see or loved watching. Now you have an exclusive piece of what could have been. There are three different posters: the Preppy versus Dimples, the One versus the Wannabe. Into, and the International Man of Mystery versus the Evil Scientist, all numbered and signed by creator Josh Lamont. So yeah, that wasn't signed by Zach Morris. <laughs> that was signed, where is it? That was signed by Jack Lamont. Wait, is Aegis with the wannabe? The one versus the wannabe? I don't know. So, uh, this is kind of funny. So let's see. The Celebrity Fight Match, uh, which is the show right in cyberspace. I'm uh, just reading the poster. The uh, Oracle, in association with the simulated reality system, presents showdown in cyberspace. Machine against the man. Plus additional dual fights featuring Morpheus versus the Merov... The Morovin... The Morovin... I don't even know that name. I don't remember that name at all. And there's... Trinity versus the twins. <laughs> Live from inside the shared false reality. Doors open as system reboot. Oh, this is in Japan. It's, uh, the mission is 350 yen and reserved 950 yen. I believe that's him. Anyways, um, for the moon base melee, uh, something exposition. A piece of it got cut off in association with the British. Intelligence Agency presents the moon base, the moon base melee, the fight for the mojo. Um, this is eight hundred fifty dollars for a mission, reserve nine hundred fifty. Felt like that would have been in pounds for some reason. Uh, additional dream fights featuring Scott Evil versus Felicity Shagrell and Minimi versus somebody he got cut off. Live from Dr. Evil's secret volcanic island. Um, and the rest got cut off. So yeah. I'm going to pause and read some of those uh, features and um, text on each poster. There you go. And the last thing we got was the Bandbox No Soup For You Custom Soup Spoons. You're pushing your luck. You're pushing your luck, little man. Hmm. It became one of the sayings that encapsulates the 90s. No soup for you. Though he only appeared in one episode, the soup Nazi made a huge splash on the show's science due to his temperament and his insistence on a strict manner of behavior while placing a word for the soup. Check out this custom spoon dot on the famous quote. Ah, so that's from Seinfeld. I remember seeing that episode. I didn't actually catch up to Seinfeld until years later when it, when the series was over. Because uh, it had it playing on Fox. Um... Throughout the day, I'm not even sure. I know when I got home, it was on at like 6 after work and like 11 or something after the news. So it was constantly on. So that's when I finally, you know, caught up to Seinfeld and found it pretty hilarious. But when it was at its peak, never even watched an episode. But yeah, I remember the Soup Nazi. I just, yeah, I wasn't the biggest fan, I guess, to remember the, the quote of No Soup for You. I don't know what his accent is, but I'm just, yeah. So that's that. No Soup for You. And yeah, that's the spoiler booklet. No spoon for you. Cool. Yeah, so that was this month's, uh, February's month uh, for the band box. Yeah, I liked majority of it. I mean, 
I mean, spoon is a spoon, I guess. But I like the sign items, which is the hockey puck from um, Man Authority from the Mighty Ducks. And I like this poster, even though it's not signed by AC Slater or Zach Morris. Um, yeah, but it's still a cool, cool poster. I, I like it. I mean, the pin is cool, but the Super Soaker is kind of small. If you there's two pins on it, but it feels like if you know if you put some pressure, it's definitely gonna break. But but I, I, rather, I guess I would have preferred the LA Gears. <laughs> Maybe I'll trade for those. I mean, I've been on the community, um, talked to a few folks, but I didn't actually trade anything uh, on the community. Um, there's a lot going on in the community for trades, so it was kind of hit or miss, but I haven't done any actual trades, so. Yeah, I mean, I can't really do anything with this Beanie Baby. It is straight up from the 90s. What did it say, 97? It was born in 1997. Yeah, so I guess I feel, hope this is one of those uh, rare ones. Maybe it's worth 50 bucks. But all in all, overall, I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, this pup definitely made it. This this will be one of my favorite items, or it is my favorite item. And the next one will be the poster. Yeah, so that was the band box. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys do, share it, subscribe. Um, yeah, thumbs up it. Yeah, tell your friends about it, your folks. Yeah. Until next time, ladies.